The Windows Update Error Code 0x8007064 3 can occur due to various reasons. Here's a general guide to fix it. Restart your computer. Sometimes, a simple restart can resolve update-related issues. Run Windows Update Troubleshooter. Press Windows key plus I to open settings. Go to Update and Security Troubleshoot. Select additional troubleshooters. Select Windows Update and run the troubleshooter. Check disk space, ensure that you have enough free space on your system drive. Windows updates may fail if there's insufficient space. Temporarily disable antivirus slash firewall. Sometimes, security software can interfere with updates. On Update and Security, go to Windows Security. Click on Firewall and Network Protection. In the Window Security window, click on Firewall and Network Protection. Under Firewall and Network Protection, you will see three network types, Domain, Private, and Public. Click on each one and turn off the toggle switch for Microsoft Defender Firewall. Verify firewall status. Check that the firewall status for all three network types now indicates that it is turned off. Attempt the update again. If the update error is still not resolved, clear software distribution folder. Press Windows key plus X and select Command Prompt Admin or PowerShell Admin. Type the following commands one by one and press Enter after each. Netstop Wazerv. Netstop Crypt SVC. Netstop bits. Netstop Mcsiserver. After stopping the services, rename the software distribution and cat root 2 folders. Use these commands. Rense colon omvents costly windows omvents costly software distribution software distribution old.
Ring til kolon omvendt skorstreg Windows omvendt skorstreg System 3.2 omvendt skorstreg Katrud 2 Katrud 2 Old. Restart the services by entering Netstart Wazerv. Netstart Crypt SVC. Netstart Bits. Net start and scissorver. Manually reset Windows Update Components. You can reset Windows Update Components using a script provided by Microsoft. Download and run the script from the Microsoft Support page. Visit the Microsoft Support page. Open your web browser and go to the Microsoft Support page for resetting Windows Update components. Download the Reset Windows Update tool. On the support page, you should find a download link for the Reset Windows Update tool. Click on the link to start the download. Save the file. Save the downloaded file to a location on your computer where you can easily find it. Run the script as administrator. Locate the downloaded file, it usually has a name like resetwing.bat. Right click on the file, resetwing.bat, and select Run as Administrator. This step is crucial to ensure proper execution. If prompted by user account control, click Yes to allow the tool to make changes to your device. Follow on-screen instructions. The tool will open a command prompt window and start resetting the Windows Update components. Follow any on-screen instructions provided by the tool. Wait for completion. The tool will automatically perform the necessary steps to reset Windows Update components. This may take some time, so be patient and allow the process to complete. Review the results. Once the process is complete, the tool will display a summary of the actions taken. Review this information to ensure that the reset was successful. Restart your computer. After the reset is complete, restart your computer to apply the changes. After restarting, go to Settings Update and Security Windows Update and check for updates again. If the update error is still not resolved. Update.NET Framework Check Current.NET Framework version. Press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog. Type appwiz.cpl and press Enter to open the Programs and Features window. Look for Microsoft.NET Framework in the list. Note the installed versions. Visit the Microsoft.NET download page. Open your web browser, go to the Microsoft.NET download page. Download the latest.NET framework version. On the download page, you will see the recommended version of .NET framework. Click on the Runtime or SDK download button, depending on your needs. Follow the on-screen instructions to download the installer.
run the installer. Once the download is complete, open the downloaded file, usually a.exe file, and run the installer. If prompted by user account control, click yes to allow the installer to make changes to your device. It may take some time to complete the installation. Restart your computer. After the installation is complete, restart your computer to apply the changes. After restarting, you can verify that the .NET framework has been successfully updated by checking the Programs and Features window again. Confirm that the new version is listed. Updating the .NET framework ensures that your system has the latest features, security updates, and compatibility improvements. Perform a clean boot. Open System Configuration. Press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog. Type MS Config and press Enter to open the System Configuration Utility. Access the System Configuration Utility. Disable Startup Services. Go to the Services tab in the same System Configuration window. Check the box for Hide All Microsoft Services to avoid accidentally disabling essential services. Click the Disable All button to disable all third-party services. Apply Changes. Restart your computer. You will be prompted to restart your computer. Click Restart to apply the changes. Identify the issue. After the computer restarts, it will start with a minimal set of startup programs and services. Check if the issue you are experiencing, such as update problems, persists. If the issue is resolved, it indicates that a third-party application or service was causing the problem.